anything that you take up, that's when your genius flowers. Now, there's a limitless way of looking at life. All I know is this needs to be done and those who do it with all that they have will find fulfillment. There are no right things to do in life. If you choose something and put everything that you have into it, it'll become a great thing. Is it the right thing? Is it the best thing? When you say, is it the right thing, what you're asking is, is it the best thing to do in life? There is no best thing to do in life. Anything that you take up and if you put your heart and soul into it, it becomes a great thing. Is it the best thing? No. Then what is the best thing? There is no such thing. There's really no such thing. And now that you have duties, towards your parents. Tell me, whether it's to yourself or to your parents or to anybody, don't look at yourself as a, a Delhiite or an idiot, whatever you want to call yourself. <laughs> if you're just a piece of life, hmm? Hello? Yes. And today you're here, one day you'll be poop, gone. What do you think is your duty to this life and to every life, please tell me. <laughs> hmm? What is living fully mean? Huh? <laughs> oh. You are a brief life, you are a brief life. I wanted to just imagine, you've seen those insects which come when it rains, you know, ants which fly. Suppose you are that, you just came alive and gone. That's what you are. Just compared to the span of your life, the insect's life is looking so meaningless and poop, poop, poop and gone. That's what the rivers are thinking about you, poop, poop, poop and gone. Yes or no? Compared to their lifespan, you are just like that insect or less than that insect, isn't it so? But you don't know what the insect is thinking, but at least you, I want you to think and see, it's a bloody brief life both for you and your father. In this culture, people desperately wanted to have a son, not because they had a kingdom to rule, because they believed if they have a child, because the girl will get married and go off somewhere, if the son is there, he will be there and make sure that before they die, he will take them to Kashi or he will take them to the right place and see that they get mukti. That is the entire process of life here. Because we saw the very process of life and it's exuberant flying around for some time and poof, this itself is a trap. Suppose you remembered one hundred lifetimes of coming up, flying around, falling in love, reproducing, South Indian or North Indian <laughs> and uh, Kayantastanam. Suppose you remembered hundred happenings like this, would it become meaningless? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Because of loss of memory, Everything is looking fresh, yes? So, your fundamental duty towards yourself and your father is just to remind them of this. So, are you doing the right thing? I don't know, sir. All I know is this needs to be done and those who do it with all that they have will find fulfillment. I am not somebody who ever deba debated, is this the right thing to do in my life? What was needed, I jumped into it. 
because if you are a constipated life, you will always be thinking about what to do, what not to do, what to do, what not to do, what is my passion, what is not my passion. Why the hell are you not passionate about everything? Hello? Yes. Why are you not passionate about everything in the existence? You're only passionate about one thing, means what? You're constipated, that's what it means. So, <clears throat> see, idiots do things that they don't like to do, suffer for their whole life because they think it's needed or they think it's their duty. Intelligent people do what they love to do, they enjoy their life to some extent. But a genius learns to do what is needed joyfully. That's when your genius flowers because it's no more about you. Now there's a limitless way of looking at life.